So I'll just read up the points for us, okay? And then uh, we can run with it. So let's uh, get busy. Now, the thing is, we've talked about your idea validation. We have talked about lead generation and we have talked about pre-launch content marketing. The other things that you now need in place, right, are offers, production planning and shipping together. You need to plan the offers that you want to sell, you would use to sell your collection when they are ready. You will need to plan the production methods and the production model that you would deploy so that you'll be able to meet up with demands. And you will need also to plan your shipping. So let me give you some, you know, uh, maybe some shockers, okay, or table shakers. One of them is this. You can be in any location across the country and advertise your product. And when you advertise your product, you will offer free shipping and you will still make profit. It is very possible. You can offer free shipping and you will still make products, uh, make profit rather. Very, very, very possible. Okay. That's where planning your shipping comes to be. You should consider shipping abroad. How do I go about shipping abroad? in a way that would be very affordable for me. Oh, at this juncture, if I mention companies like DHL, you're registering with DHL, you'll be like, what? But the truth of the matter is this, DHL will help you a long way. EMS will help you a long way. That's the NIPOST uh, services. However, you can't rely on them if you want to do international sales. One of the things I've come to learn about many of us that are Nigerians, okay, or if you're in any other African country uh, and you you found out that this applies to you, okay, all well and good. So what I found out is that many of us are chasing after our countrymen living abroad as customers. Uh, the issue now is we tend to attract those of them that try to negotiate the price of our products with us at the local price in our own country. For instance, you are a Nigerian, you have created some beautiful collections, you are targeting Nigerians in the UK. And uh, you tell them that your designs, each of your design is going for, for example, um, 20,000 Naira. And in Nigeria, in the UK, we'll be pricing it down to 10,000 Naira. And you'll be mad. Like, what the hell? But it's living abroad. Bro, sis, the fact that someone is living abroad does not mean they are doing well. Okay? They're in a better, a better economy, but doesn't mean they are doing well. They may be at the lowest rung of the ladder, economic-wise. Okay? So if you are in Nigeria and you are trying to sell to people abroad, or you're in any African country and you're trying to sell to people abroad, whether they are your countrymen or you're not your countrymen, you need to create online stores on platforms where you can bill in dollars. Yes, that's what you need. So you've come on your designs, go and get platforms where you can post your product and set the price in dollars or pounds or euros. That's what you should do. Okay? That's just some side information. It's still part of you planning your shipping. Because if you are targeting somebody abroad, you need to do what? You need to charge at the currency they spend over there. Naturally, whatever fashion you are making, whatever fashion products you're coming up with, the price will not be as high as the ones that are in the Western Hemisphere. Mm, it won't. Naturally, it won't. However, however, 
you can still charge at an amount that is relatively lower than what is obtainable in their own country yet it will be surplus for you in your own country so for example you're making some uh, nice kaftan and you're selling for 200 pounds 200 dollars 500 dollars whereas somebody else in the uk will need to cover about 2000 pounds to get the same clothing so yours is relatively cheaper okay but the fact that it's relatively cheaper to them means that it is going to bring you a lot of income when you convert using the exchange rate, simple as that, okay? And if you don't want to use the exchange rate, you can build up your foreign currency reserve in your domiciliary account faster. That's how it works with that when it comes to shipping. So you need to work out your shipping. Your shipping is very important. So from what I've just said, if you are selling abroad, targeting international customers, don't put your prices in error. Don't put it in local currency yet. You will be shooting yourself in the leg. That's it. Perception is very important. Now, what about production planning? When we talk about production planning, there are two things to consider. The production method you will use, the production model you will adopt. Production method has to do with how you intend to produce those products. It could be that you are producing those products, you know, uh, in-house. That means you are gathering together your staff. They are going to handle the production for you. Or if you don't have staff, you're going to be doing it by yourself, you alone. Now, if you're the only person doing it alone, what's your capacity? Oh, you want to launch already to wear? Okay, fine. You're trying to aim to get a million in sales. You are selling your ready to wear at an average price of 10,000. For you to make 1 million, you need to sell 100. Can you sell 100 in two weeks? Can you sell 100 units in one month? In four weeks? If you can, fine. If you can't, how many can you sell? If you can sell only 20, then you know that 20 times 10, you are going to make 200K out of 1 million that you are aiming for. Then you start thinking, how can I hire extra hands to fill up the work? Just so I can get results. Because when you are launching your collection, you need to launch within a set period of time. I tell people who join my programs, you do minimum of two weeks. Minimum of two weeks of launch campaign. Maximum four weeks. Okay, anything lo longer than four weeks, it shouldn't go past six to eight weeks maximum. That's two months. Then you can look back on your performance to know what sold well, what worked, what didn't work, what can you improve on. That's how you handle your production, you know, in terms of your production. So the production method model has to do with, are you... uh are you doing outsourcing? Okay, so the method is outsourcing or insourcing. No, so when you do insourcing, that's like in-house production. You are in charge of your production yourself. When you're outsourcing, that means you're giving it out to people to sell for you. Okay, what about method? Method has to do with, oh, when customers now start placing orders, how will you be able to meet up in case the demand they are making is more than the amount that you can produce at worst? That's another thing to consider, okay? So having said that, I want to share something with those of you that are new into ready-to-wear or they are young into ready-to-wear or that don't have a lot of money to spend in ready-to-wear. This is what I would, say, I would suggest that you do. I would like you to start with bespoke ready-to-wear. Bespoke ready-to-wear simply means that you you have created samples prototypes now depending on what i've taught to you earlier you create prototypes based on feedback from your idea validation effort that is your research your surveys so when you create collections that people want right collection the design that you know people have said this is what i like in these colors create samples when you create samples market those samples do you need to go to market and buy those fabrics plenty of fabric no if you know that you can only afford to get fabric that can produce just 10 units of the designs that you have come up with fine start with that the fact that i'm telling you that you can do a million in your lunch does not mean that oh you are selling in one day you're making a million it is very possible to do that very possible to do that but you have the capacity to handle the production that will deliver that 
If you don't have the capacity, then you need to build up your old, your millions. Okay? So you may like, oh, I'm making my clothes for 10K. I need to sell a hundred in order for me to make a million. Then you create samples, prototypes. You then do your photo shoots. Then you do your marketing campaign, your sales campaign. Once you do your sales campaign, right? And people are showing up, showing interest and they are placing orders. You will be using your pre-order production model to meet up. Yes, pre-order. If you want to know more about pre-order, I know many of us already know pre-order. We've talked about it extensively, so I don't need to share more, shed more light on it. The only thing I do in my own organized uh, coaching program around this is to now break it down for you step by step that you should follow to do the pre-order right. Yes, so that you won't be overwhelmed. That's where production model comes in. You model your production to meet up with the demand so that you don't get overwhelmed because overwhelm is one of the problems that many people are. Okay. That's all that is about. Please. That's all that is about your production method are either in house or outsourcing. You need to sort those two out in house or outsourcing. If you are going to outsource, please let me give you this information for free. And you are in Nigeria. And you are selling your ready to wear. You are planning to sell your ready to wear collection, your designs at five thousand or less, or between five thousand, eight thousand, and ten thousand naira. Please, outsourcing will not work for you. Okay, if you are in Nigeria, I'm talking to you in Nigeria, a fashion designer in Nigeria, who is selling at a price as you know affordable as ten k or below. Outsourcing will not work for you because current information that is reaching me is that the people who run bug government factories, right, for them to even break even, they need to charge you at least 5,500 naira. That is not inclusive of fabric. So imagine fabric is not included, pattern drafting is not included, and the old things that go into production planning and design. Just for them to sew for you 5,005 before they can even break even. So tell me, when you factor in how much it, how much you will spend on the fabric and other things, we used to be able to make a profit when you sell at 10,000, 8,000, 7,000. No, you won't. So you need to learn how to do your in house production yourself. That was the reason why in November, I took that class, you know, organized the class on prison break, how you can escape from being stuck behind your sewing machine. Yeah, that's why we created it. Because I realized that if we don't teach that, and we are now teaching people how to start ready to wear that can help them to do a million and above, many people will just get stuck along the line because they are overwhelmed with work. So guys, please, you can start alone. You can start with what you have. You don't need to have a lot of money. Pre-order model is what you make use of if you are starting small. So don't give yourself any excuse to still stay stuck with bespoke in 2022. You can start with what you have. If you can only afford 10 fabric, like I was saying earlier, right? Uh, fabric to produce 10 units. That means 10 dresses. Please, what you should do is simply go and look for where you can consistently get those fabric or alternative fab alternative fabrics this is why it's good for you to have contacts of fabric dealers bukola uh bukola where's bukola here redefining styles bukola is here please tell them about uh, pro, uh, drop your contacts she's into bail fabrics okay bail fabrics that you can you know order and help you with your production bukola is in my millionaire stripe millionaire stripe is the fashion six ultra uh gold membership where they pay 100k per month to learn you know to grow their business to one million a month yeah she did 1.3 million in november yeah i mean she was there on this platform to share her testimony uh, some weeks back okay so bukola please this is an opportunity to help you make money <laughs> so share your details your contact your phone your telegram group link for those that are interested in fabrics uh, you know fabric uh uh, fabric for they are ready to wear because if you can get a, a, a sustainable source consistent source of fabric 
you can then be buying in bits. You don't have to buy in bulk. And if you have the money to buy in bulk, then you buy big fabric once and for all. I have it. At any rate, buy the amount of fabric that can make the minimum quantity that you can produce. Then when you produce that, sell. When you are done and people are still ordering for the same clothes, get another fabric, sew new samples of the same design in the new fabric and do your photo shoot, post online as part of your sales campaign to let people know that we have run out of stock of the previous design. We is now available in this print. This way you will create the impression in people's mind that people rush your products. They won't know that you don't have access to fabric. <laughs> That's the reason why you have to, you know, go that route. So anytime you're promoting your, you know, your current designs in the current prints that you have access to, always tell people why stock last, limited order, limited order, limited quantity, limited stock. Why stock last? Use those kind of terms. So that when you run out of those uh, fabric and you get new fabric, you, create, you quickly sold them, right, in some of the popular sizes that people already buy from you. And what do you do next? You do a photo shoot, then you promote them like, oh, we now have it in new stock. You're already doing fashion retailing in case you don't know if that's what you're doing. So, guys, don't let anything limit you from going into ready to wear in 2022. I, I've, I've talked about production planning. I've talked about shipping. Then what about uh, offers? Offers are simply the different ways by which you are going to promote your collection. Please, when you are selling your collection, when you are selling your collection, don't sell clothes. You sell solution. That is the secret. Yes. Oh, a plus size woman. Who wants to buy your collection? Why do you, why should they buy your collection? Number one, the name of your collection should already give them an idea of what that clothing collection will do for them. They won't buy every of the designs in your collection. They may buy a few of them, but they, I, they are already aware that, oh, if I wear this clothes, it will do this for me. I like using some crazy collection your, uh, names. I have not seen anybody who had the gumption to use them. There was one I gave some people back in 2018. I still give them last year. Nobody used it. I call it husband snatcher. Please, who would like to use husband snatcher as the name of the collection? People who would like to use husband snatcher as a uh, as a, the name of your collection. Bukola, drop the link of your telegram. Drop it again and again. Please, just keep dropping it all through this class. You have to make the million that you've paid now for fashion six or try good. So you have to recoup your money. Keep dropping it when somebody else asks, like, I can't find drop it. Uh-huh. Drop it. So I use husband snatcher. I told people, oh, can you use husband snatcher as the name of a collection? Girls that are trying to snatch other men, they will come. The wife they want to snatch, they want to snatch their husband. They would also come and buy. My dear, you cash it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i wish people could understand the 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 depth of what i'm just sharing it's funny but it's the truth okay what about uh, seductively decent what about bedroom matters what okay please somebody try and tell me what does uh bedroom matter what kind of collection is that the name of your collection should already tell us the problem you are solving Confidence booster. What does that do for plus size women? Okay, what, what do we call a collection a super sexy plus size? Or super sexy plus babes? Okay. Uh -huh. Now you are learning, right? The name of your collection is where you start selling from. You don't sell products. You don't sell clothes. Like this uh, jumpsuit is very beautiful for you. Like hell. This dress is very beautiful for you. Who cares? You need to sell solution. So your collection has a need that is meeting in people's life. The name of the collection should reflect the need so that they can quickly connect with it. When I tell you 90 days to launch, please, what does that mean? Please, if I tell you 90 days to launch, what does that mean? Can you help me out in the comments? When I tell you ready to wear on a budget, what does that mean to you? What does it, what picture does it, does it pop up in your head? I'd like to hear from you. 
That's how you do it, okay? That's how you do it. Aha, Lima says, wear dress without spending much. Thank you. Thank you. Ready to wear on a budget. Another meaning is how to start your ready to wear with little capital. For those of us that see it from, you know, from doing ready to wear perspective. Okay? So that's how we... Thank you. Working on a low budget for ready to wear. Thank you, Yoma. Thank you. So that's what I also do. When I say 90 days to launch, that means you'll be able to launch in 90 days. When I say ready to wear on a budget, you can start your ready to wear with little budget, with little capital. That's what we're trying to say. When you create your ready to wear collection, that's how you do it. You name them and then you sell. You sell the, collect the collection. You advertise the collection. That's what you do. Okay. So there you have it. Offers. Offers help you to sell. So when I say offers, oh, you want to help plus size women to look sexy in the bedroom. Good. You want them to boost their confidence. Great. So how do you get them to buy all of these different designs you've created? That's where offers come in. You create bundles. It cannot be offer for a particular cloth, one of the you know designs that you've made. Or it can be in collaboration with somebody who is into footwear, whom you would have agreed a price with. And then together, you know, the price are uh, you harmonize. So maybe the footwear, they are selling their footwear at 10K, but they've given it to you at 8K. So you already know you're going to make profit of 2K. Then you now add the 10K plus, uh, you know, uh, the 10K for the footwear. You add it to um, your dress, which is maybe your dress is going for 15K. Okay. So that means in, in total is 25K. Then you now decide, like, out of the 15K, you are cutting off 2K. You now say, oh, buy this combo. This dress plus this footwear, these shoes, that will give you the killer them, I mean, kill them look for the kill them collection. And then get these two for 25K instead of the actual price of 30K. And you tell them their original price is, uh, you know, uh, instead of, yeah, you tell them for instead of 30K combo. And people will rush it because they think you are giving them a lot of discount. Whereas you are not giving any discount per se. You only cut off 2K and still make profit. You know, I can't go much into offer creation here, but at least you have the idea of what it is. So when you are done with sorting out your uh, offers, your production, and your shipping, that's when you can now proceed to the sales part of your launch. Yes. That's when you can proceed to the sales part of your launch. In the sales part of your launch, what are the things that you're going to be doing there? <laughs> Those are the other points in this, you know, webinar, you know, that we are having. Unfortunately, the network is just affecting us. The screen sharing option is not working, but let's just enjoy, you know, or uh, the, uh, the moment as it is, because everything on the, on the slides is already here. Okay, so when you're done with uh, the these four points, uh, the four steps I've listed, that's when you now look at your launch campaign, your launch phase. In your launch phase, you need the following. One, you need a launch calendar. Two, you need organic marketing channel. Three, you need paid marketing channel and you need marketing strategy yes so let's take it up with the law with the launch calendar everything i have told you prior to now all fall under your pre-launch phase that is idea validation lead generation uh, pre-launch content marketing and offers production planning and shipping together. They all fall under pre-launch because it's during this pre-launch phase you are doing your photo shoots for the designs that you've come up with. So if you have a lot of money, you can organize a standard photo shoot. If you have a lot of money, good, good, you can still start. Some skills that you need, okay? Include 
fashion photography skill. So that is fashion product photography skill. One of my friends, okay, who asked me to be his mentor, I'm doing very excellently. Olufemi Oyekon has a comprehensive training on how you can use your mobile phone, right, or your mobile de devices to take excellent pictures and edit them well. So you are going to be getting access to those on the 90 Days to Launch uh, coaching program. For those of you that joined there, you're going to get access to that. Now, apart from that, you need this skill of... Um, I'm trying to recollect. Facebook. Yes, Facebook adverts that allows you to know... That allows you to run effective Facebook adverts and Instagram adverts together. Because Facebook, you know, owns Instagram. So if you want to run Facebook adverts, you run them on Facebook Ads Manager. And then you can now, you know, select either Instagram or Facebook or both of them together. You need to, you need a working knowledge of how to run Facebook adverts because that would help you to break all this issue about location as a barrier. The thing is this. Knowing how to run Facebook adverts is not enough. You need to know what kind of Facebook adverts you should run, okay? What kind of Facebook adverts you should run. So, um, so that said, right? So that said, uh, yeah, my camera is back on. So, like I said, you know, fashion product photography, very, very necessary. Apart from fashion photo, product photography, you also need Facebook ads mastery. You need that. That would also help you. Okay, so if you ever bought any ad on Facebook, that's good. That's good. Now, the thing is, you need to now know okay, what kind of adverts you do run, how should you run them, okay, to mix them up. For free, you need to know that you are going to be running lead generation ads. You are going to be running a direct response ads together. That's it. Okay. So these are prerequisite skills for your launch phase. Please, you need to learn, you need to have Canva design skills, please. That's number three. Canva design skills. So I've told you for uh, phone product photography. Okay. I've told you Facebook ads mastery. And then I've told you Canva, Canva design skills. You need it. Reason is that when you're creating offers, right, you should be able to capture your offers in interesting pictures. Not only that, you should be able to capture your offers in interesting short videos. You can do that with Canva. Okay, even the free plan on Canva, you can do that. You need just those three skills. Oh, you need somebody to put you through on uh, Canva designs. I can guide you. You need somebody to put you through on Facebook as mastery. I can guide you. You need somebody to put you uh, through on uh, fa uh, fashion photography. You know, sorry, fashion product photography. I can guide you. The first two, fashion product photography and Facebook as mastery, they are bonuses in 90 days to launch coaching program, January edition. Can you see? And the uh, subsequent editions, it's free because these are skills that are necessary to helping you get to seven figures. What if you don't have money to run paid ads? Good. Then you learn organic marketing, you know, in terms of organic marketing channels. So the second phase, I've not told you step by step. I've just been sharing thoughts because this is where my strength lies. This is what I enjoy doing effortlessly. Okay. So the four uh, steps, let me recap them. One of them is you are going to be doing a launch calendar. Now, a launch calendar is where you plan your launch. Remember that I told you that during the launch phase, you are going to have to do the following, right? You are going to be doing a launch campaign, a sales campaign, okay? Because the launch phase is where you are now telling people we are ready, we are available, come and buy, come and buy, come and buy, come and buy, come and buy. That's what you're doing at that phase, okay? At the launch phase. So what do you now do at that point? You need to start, you know, promoting your products. So your Canva graphics design will help you to design your offers at that point in time. 
to share. Okay, your Facebook Ads Mastery will help you to advertise to locations that you would like to sell to. Making two, uh, making two, right? Then uh, your fashion product photography would have helped you to take beautiful pictures without having to spend money because you already learned that skill. Okay, and you saved yourself the money of having to hire a photographer. But if you can afford a photographer, fine, outsource. <laughs> fine by me. Now, when you are able to do all of this, your sales will do well. Having said that, please, when we talk about fashion product photography, it is not those nonsense pictures people will take and then we're standing on the roadside. No, not those. Not those. You want to do excellent photography, you need to put in the work, okay? You need to put in the work. Let me see if I can also love some pictures from uh, the 90 Days to Launch Xmas group. 90 Days to Launch Xmas group. Let me see if I can also love some pictures from their group, you know, to show us some of the things I'm talking about. Good fashion photography. Okay, let me check files. Or is it files or media? Oh, I'm looking for media, some beautiful designs because we did an analytics on their platform, you know, some months ago when we they were planning their collection and I told them they must not mess up. Otherwise, they will just struggle for nothing. Oh my, the network is not allowing for, you know, uh, me to see all of those pictures I would have loved to share with you guys. Okay, but we move. What is it? We move. Don't worry. Another time we come that we will be able to, you know, look at them. Okay. I really wish I could show us. So, but don't worry. We, we, we move. We move. Okay. So having said uh, this, your launch calendar covers what you will be doing from the day you launch officially to the day you will end your launch. Your launch should not take more or less than two weeks, please. Maximum four weeks. If you want to go at all beyond that, don't do more than six weeks. You are launching, doing sales, advertising, all through that period. That's what you're doing during all of those periods, okay? So having said that, um, there are things that you will do the day you launch. The things you will do the second day. There are things you will do after seven days. There are things you will do by day 14. There are things you will do by day 21 and things you will do by day 28 if you are using a whole month. Now, the offers that you are creating, there are days that you should launch your offers. There are times that you should launch your offers. All of these things are the things that we have covered, please. Okay? That we cover that, uh, you know, I have in a template the launch calendar template. You need it because when you have your launch calendar and you have listed all the things you'll be doing per day, it's easy for you to know that, okay, on day one, we're going to be doing this, 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 and that on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. And then you go and do them. You mark it on your checklist, done. Day two, done. Day three, done. And you're monitoring your sales. If the things you do, maybe for example, you post on your WhatsApp status and the picture you use on WhatsApp status, people are not responding to it. You delete it, you replace it with another one because you are looking for what works. You are getting out there doing your marketing like crazy. At this point in time, when you are doing your launch, that's when those lead generation you did earlier, those contacts that you've been building, you now start marketing to them. There's a way you plan it and you do it effectively, okay? That's uh, what I would like you to Take note. I think I've covered that. Then what else do I need to cover? Yes. When you are done with your long calendar, then you now start looking at organic marketing channels or organic promotion channels that you would use. What's organic promotion channels? Simply means I don't have money to do adverts, but I want people to see my collection. I want to sell. How do I go about it? When you hear of things like announcer marketing strategies, for those of you that are in the Fashion 6 Ultra Coaching Program, or Membership Club, you would already know about announcer marketing strategy, okay? That's one of the things that we're going to be making use of. Organic promotion channel simply means different means by which you can promote your collection without paying anyone. When we wanted to promote this particular uh, you know, webinar we are doing right now, 
I set up a WhatsApp group for my partners, affiliate partners that we can promote together and then we can make money together. I mean, it's in the open. It's not, a, it's, a, it's an open secret. And I got about 123 people that showed the interest. Out of 123, we got about 64 people that set up groups. Out of the 64, 49 people were active on their groups. This morning, we got to about 51 or so. Active on their groups, telling people, inviting people to join their WhatsApp groups, and then inviting them from their WhatsApp group to come here to listen to, the, to watch this uh, webinar. That's organic marketing. That's an organic marketing channel. You know what it's called? Viral marketing. Viral marketing. That is what it is called. Viral marketing. Okay? So with viral marketing, how it works is you are promoting and reaching a lot of people without having to spend anything on uh, sales. Uh, sorry, anything on adverts organic marketing strategy. So if you are starting out, don't try out, don't start out with the paid channels. You start out with organic. Udo Kachukwemeka, she's here with us. She has shared her testimonial. If you scroll up through the group, you will see it there. The audio, you know, the podca video podcast of Udo Kachukwemeka's uh, testimonial. She did over a million. The first week that she launched, she did 800,000 error. She was screaming on the phone like, coach, I did 800K. I did not even run any adverts. And I said, can you see? She followed through on all of the things I've shared so far. And uh, the second week, she crossed the million. By the third week, she was nearly 1.3 million or 1.5. Another person on this same platform, Abimbola Oshoba. Abimbola is in uh, Lagos. Okay. Oduka is also in Lagos. Now, Abimbola launched in, uh, was it on June or, or July or so? When she launched, her staff left. She was left with, she was left alone to handle the others, you know, by herself. She called on, she called me on me, and then I had to help her get the staff. The staff that came in, they now worked together to do a second launch a month after applying everything that we've taught. Now, Abin Bola, the first time she launched, she did 600k out of one million that was her sales goal. Just because of the staff that left, so she couldn't meet up. By the time she did a second launch on August 19 this year, her testimonial is here on the group also. Abimola did one million minimum. Minimum. When we added it together, she told me, Coach, let, let's just stick it at 1.6 million. Together within four weeks period. That means the distance, the uh, the you know, the time between the last launch and the Second launch was just was less than four weeks. When we added all the money together, it was 1.6 million she did. Abimbola Oshoba. And then uh, Kate. Yeah, Kate uh, Eze. Kate Eze was going to launch in November. She joined the October edition of 90 Days to launch in, uh, yeah, in October, on October 4th. So she told me, Coach, I have less than one month to launch. So I had to now share all the videos and the workbooks of this uh, complete program that can help you do a million that is the 90 days to launch so she went she studied them ahead of time applied kate's sales goal was 1.35 million at the end of one month at the end of december she did one she crossed one million as of the first week of december she had already crushed 1.35 million also she said she ran facebook adverts the other did not really deliver as much organic promotion got her more sales that she can handle. The shocker is that Kate is still working in paid employment. Can you imagine? So because she understood the different the different production models she could use, she was able to meet up. And she's still in paid employment. So if you are a salary earner, please don't uh, don't complain. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't complain. Okay, so having said that, Paid promotion channels, please. When we talk about paid promotion channels, it is not only Facebook alone that is a paid promotion channel. Influencers are there. Now, when we talk about influencers, please, I'm not talking about big, big influencers like that. If you can get a big influencer to advertise for you and you have the money to pay them, good for you. If not, look for micro influencers. Micro influencers are people that have influence in the circle of the people you want as customers. Must you go to a Niger brand a a Twisha Beast, yeah, uh, before you can sell, must you? If you can't afford them, there's an uncle in your family. 
that he has influence in a local in a club that he can introduce you to. That's a micro influencer. Go after them. Okay. What can you offer them that will make them want to promote you for free? That's what you should be thinking. Or if they ask you to pay them, what they'll pay you is not much. I remember there's this um, influencer online, Ulumide Glovio. I chatted him up in October and I told him, hey, bro, I would like you to help me promote my uh, 90 Days to Learn Coaching Program, October to December edition. The, the bros did the write-up and in one hour, 1,000 plus likes on his post. The problem was that the link I gave to him, Facebook refused to make that link clickable. And I paid uh, almost 20K for one post. That's when I saw like, oh, this guy is a real influencer on Facebook. So next time I want to do an advert with him, I'm going to do a lead generation advert. So rather than pay Facebook uh, for advert, I'll pay him 15K, 20K. That's his range. To put, to do a write-up, one write-up that can get you well over 1,000 people. The following day, the same post had reached 1,700 people. There about one post. I can post today and only 10 people will like it. <laughs> this is what I posted. And I got over 200. Is it about over 100 comments, 150 comments or so. And uh, well over 1,600 uh, likes, reactions. So if you can pay an influencer, pay them. Okay, but don't go after the big names for a start. And if you don't have any major influencer, who are those that you know that you can use your product to gift as a bait for in uh, you know as a bait, you know, or a trade by butter? Okay, in order for them to promote you to their audience. That's it. Well, those of you that like to go and promote on WhatsApp TVs, be sure that the person that owns WhatsApp TV. As contacts of your target audience. If not, you are wasting your money. That's what I'll say. So, paid promotion channels include running Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, okay, to help you reach your target audience in the specific locations you are looking for locally and internationally. Okay, it means you are spending money. But if you do your own work well, you can already be making a million from organic because the three people have shared their story with you made over a million error in sales organically, not with Facebook adverts. So Facebook advert will not be a plus. Instagram advert is a plus to ensure that by all means, you cross the one million error mark. So that's how that is. For those of you that are still here, 177, 147 people, Wow, more you guys, you are the real MVP. We've spent three hours already. Okay, we are wrapping things up. Now, apart from your pay promotion channels, we now wrap it up with your marketing strategy. See, marketing strategy simply means you are sitting down and writing out action plans of the things you will do in order to achieve your sales goal. Sometimes it includes you doing collaborations. Sometimes it includes you running paid campaigns. So if you are going to run paid campaigns like Facebook advert, Instagram advert, influencer advert, and whatnot, how will you go about it? Please, I hope you know that when you get people to help you promote your product and you're giving them a commission, it's a form of paid advert. You are paying in terms of the commission that you are giving to them. However, it's still within organic and paid they are flowing together so i call it integrated marketing okay you can you can still do you can still do that so um marketing strategy simply means what is the strategy what is the action plan i want to follow how do i want to combine organic marketing with paid adverts with my launch calendar to get customers with my lead generation to get people to buy my product within this region. Now, if you are going to do marketing strategy, you start by clearly defining how much you want to make as sales. If you are coming on my coaching program, the minimum you should be working towards is 1 million. Let me tell you why. See, when you set a sales goal, you have set a bar. It's either you cross the bar, right? You go above the bar or you are beneath the bar, okay? Close to it. That's why... I tell you to set a million error sales goal. Then you have four weeks to work on it. If you don't achieve it in four weeks, you will not be earning the same amount you used to struggle to earn. That's the truth. You've made progress. Okay? 
marketing strategy includes a network of people that you talk to to be reviewing your ideas, your plans while you are in motion, motion advertising, promoting, delivering to customers. So, guys, I've tried. I think I need to put an end to it here. Okay, so let me just stop um, the presentation here. I've actually covered all of it. The thing with me is I like to be as detailed as possible, okay? So this kind of session, we've done it once. The recording is available. We make it, uh, you know, uh, something online that people can, uh, you know, access. So once we do that, we've done the nitty-gritty, uh, nitty okay? okay? So it means people can go back to it again and again. So I don't have to be doing it in snippets again. Okay, so we've done this. The recording, if I can still record them, uh, recover them, then we'll put them online so you can have access to watch them. However, you don't have to go without you hearing this. I've shown you eight things that you need to do. Please, I would like to know if these eight things I've told you, from the things you've heard me share with you so far, do you think they can help you do a million or not? I would like to know in the comments if, you, if they can help you to do a million or, or not. If they can't, good okay if they can let me know now the thing is i need to tell you about something uh about one of the plans that we have so far so you can take advantage of now you are listening to me right now oh thank you <laughs> yeah lavaka says that she's widely convinced wow Oh my, pardon me, so y'all have a guess, oh, what's happening now? Okay, so I can see some of the comments here, very beautiful comments, like someone says that, oh, she's widely convinced that uh, it is possible. I'm happy to hear that, that you can see that it is possible okay thank you so much for pointing that out it is very very possible okay well i'm going to use this best detail we've been listening to so far this year i'm glad that we are wrapping up the year for you <laughs> on a good note <laughs> okay so now the good news about this is that this is very very possible for you okay very 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 possible to accomplish this uh figure one million error is more to be honest with you yes more million error is more with all of this thing i've told you you can do it and do more of it do more of it yes now thank you so so much now guys this is what i have for you as an as an offer at least i've taught you now let me also implement what i've taught you I know you are familiar. So many of us have joined this uh, Telegram through certain WhatsApp groups, right? These WhatsApp groups are created by my accredited partners. That means Laoye Curtis partners. Okay. These are people that said, Coach, you have been a blessing to us. We've learned from you. Our businesses have improved having worked with you. Okay. And we would like to help you spread word to more people about what you are doing. That's who they are. And then we are going to end together as a result of that. So um, in case you are thinking of becoming a Larry Curtis partner also, okay? So now the deal is this. I have a short course called Ready to Wear on a Budget, which can help you gain a foundational knowledge that you can add to the webinar you've just attended. Okay? This webinar you've just attended, the Ready to Run a Budget course will show you how you can start with little capital. What I do is, I don't sell courses. I sell experiences. What kind of experiences? Transformation, turnaround. That's what I sell. Okay? Now, how do we do turnaround if you don't have a place where you can ask questions? when things are not clear for you. So that's why I, what I did is this. I created Ready to Run a Budget course. The course materials, the course resources are available on my Telegram group. I have a Telegram group 
which you call the the ready to run emerging library, Rob library. You download all the materials there, ebooks, videos, audios. Those are three things you will get. Then uh, there is now a WhatsApp and Telegram group. Okay, WhatsApp group, Telegram group, where you can ask questions. And I do occasional, you know, follow up classes for those that are that have bought the course and they are applying because I've learned that not everybody is in a place where they are ready to start now. Not everybody. You have listened to this webinar, you've enjoyed it, you've seen things that you can do. You may not have the financial capacity to launch big now. But does it mean you should give up? You should stop? No. That's why the Ready to Run a Budget course is made for you. In it, there are three modules. How to create collections that people want to buy. Okay? That idea validation is built on that. How to sell online. And uh, yes, yeah, sell online. That is what the, you know, pre-launch content marketing, the online production, online marketing channels, and whatnot. All of those things I mentioned, that's in the United States to launch, right? That's what they cover. Then uh, also in this, how to sell online, module two, I talked to you about how to set up your online store on place, on Flutterwave, on Paystack. Cat, uh, what's our catalog and many other places online stores okay that you don't need to pay for it because you have money for website creation you would also know how to sell online how to make people know you like you trust you that's module two module three how to launch your collection at least you will get the basic the foundation that you can now build on that's ready to run a budget course the course is 5k currently 5000 era currently now what i did is that my Lao Yekotis partners. If you're a member of the WhatsApp group of my Lao Yekotis partners, you'll pay 4,000, not 5,000. Okay? So if you join here through any one of the WhatsApp groups, you need to go there and ask the admin for the bank details you pay to. You'll pay 4K instead of 5K. If you want to check out the ready to on a budget course, I'll share the link on the group here so you can check it out. When you get there, you won't see any room for you to pay lower than 5k but if you want to pay 4k you go through my like quarters partners because they are my partner in getting more people to know me how do i compensate i compensate by saying hey can we share together from my resources that's how it is so that's the number one thing you can do if you are serious about you know starting your ready to wear journey now don't give yourself any excuse though. and this offer that they are giving you for 4k please don't think it's gonna last forever is for Christmas period only. Okay? It's for Christmas period only. Yeah. So it helps you to lay the foundation. Now, what happens is this, guys. Here on this Telegram group, right? This is not the only class we are going to be talking about. Ready to wear is not the only thing that is the problem of people in fashion. You people have problem of how to handle tailors. You have problem of how to build structure. You have problems of how to do what else. How to grow your income you have a lot of issues in fashion industry that we need to talk about so ready to wear is not the only thing we're going to be talking about here okay growing your income is also important however what that means is that we won't be talking about ready to wear all the time okay since we are not going to be talking about ready to wear all the time where else will we be talking about ready to wear in the question and answer group for those that are in my ready to wear on a budget alumni. So that means anybody that has bought a ready to wear budget course, you are going to be an alumni and there we'll be talking more about ready to wear. But here on the general group, we're going to be talking about everything relating to the business side of fashion. And now you can build a very successful fashion business. There's one of my beautiful friends here, Timothy Amoson. We still have a meeting, I think later today. Yeah, today is Friday. Yeah, we scheduled a personal call session. Timothy is in Abba. He's here right now. So I want to quickly tell his story. Timothy was here in November. He attended the free classes in November. And when we talked about pricing, he was able to double his pricing. And by the fact that he doubled his pricing and adjusted his mindset, based on what he learned in the free class, you can scroll up or oh, the video is there. Timothy was able to double his income. He said he didn't do above 150k before. Timothy in November did over 400,000. 
Yes. And this is somebody that said he has stopped collecting clothes for December. As of this December, he is already, he set a sales goal of 1 million. He is on the Fashion 6 Ultra Silver, you know, coaching program where we are working towards 500k monthly income. So that's, you know, people who have been here in this general group and they've gotten value and things have improved for them. So we are not all about ready to wear here. So if you want to join me, hello. So this is the last offer I'm dropping for today. <laughs> January 10 to 15, January 10 to 15, 2022. I'm going to be rush, uh, organizing an intensive six days coaching program. All of the eight things I've broken down for you today. We are now going to implement them in that six day program. Okay. January 10 to 15. So if you are serious about launching your ready to wear next year and doing at least 1 million era in sales, I kid you not. Okay. Now this is how you get rich quick skip. You can see already that there's work to be done. If you are diligent to do the work, you will see the results. That's what I can guarantee you. Okay. Because this is a proving system that has worked for a few people. So uh, January 10 to 15 edition of the 90 days to launch coaching program right which will be followed by uh 12 weeks of 11 weeks sorry 11 weeks of mentoring to guide you to implement all you've learned in those five five to six days it's going to uh happen in january right 10 to 15 followed by 11 weeks of implementation and mentoring okay in a very close intimate group which is the 90 days to launch alumni group here on Telegram. That one goes for 50,000 Naira. 50,000 Naira. Five zero, then three, three, three zeros. 50,000. So what I've done is that for those that are members of my alumni, uh, sorry, I said alumni, those that are members of my partners groups on WhatsApp, that means if you're in a group being managed by Ilawi Curtis partner if you're on a group on whatsapp managed by lawyer cottis partner then what i'll suggest you do is you need to go to that group and talk to your admin if you want to join us for the 90 days to launch coaching program if you are willing and you are diligent and you are obedient and diligent in applying what you're learning i will testify about you on this platform okay because it's a two-man team me on the one hand guiding, you on the other hand implementing, and then together reviewing your performance to correct any error here and there so your results can deliver. Please, if you are interested in the 90 days to launch uh, January edition, you know, January 10 to 15, followed by 11 weeks. Now, the good thing about the January edition is this you are going to be getting the Facebook Ads Mastery course, the one I talked about. I'm giving you to help you master your Facebook advert. Then, uh, which other one? You are going to get, uh, yes, you are going to get access to Fashion 6 Ultra Coaching Program or Membership Club, Bronze Level, for two months, free. For two months, free, January and February. That's where we help people do 100K, 500K, 1 million, 3 million Naira monthly. You get access to that for free for two months. Then uh, you're also going to be getting ready to wear on a budget course. The one I said is 5K. You get it free. Those are the three bonuses you are getting. Then I'll still add one more, Shah. One more. Yeah. But these are the three that are guaranteed. So what I've done is that those that are members of my Lao Ecotis Partners groups on WhatsApp, you if you are interested, you pay 45000 and not 50K. Plus all of these bonuses I've mentioned. Okay? 45,000, so you get the 5,000 discount, and then maybe it would increase your access to Fashion Six Ultra for three months instead of two months. Yeah, if you are if you are coming from any of my Lao Ecotis partner, can you see, guys? This is viral marketing at work, integrated marketing. I have people who have helped me to promote what I am doing, and I'm compensating with a commission to them. Okay. And at the same time, with discounts for their followers. That's where teamwork pays. So if you are interested, for the 5K, for the general edition, okay, 5K of plus three months, 
that's one more month to join finances order. So you just be in finances order January, February, March. So that that one million you are looking for can be guaranteed. Then please feel free to chat my uh, partners up on their WhatsApp group that you belong in. If you are not in any of my partners group, then it means you are my own follower. Private chat me on WhatsApp. <laughs> and then we can, I can either give you the account to pay 50K or 5K, or I give you a link to one of my partners groups so that then you qualify to pay less. So that's it on my hand. I hope you have learned so much, guys. I hope you've got some value. I hope you can apply what you have learned today. I hope it's not just information. I hope you can see it is practical. I will need to end this presentation now. Then we will take questions. Thank you. Aha.